What is up YouTube? This is He Got Kicks. Hope you guys are all having a great day today before I get into this video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell that we get the notifications every time I drop one of these bangers for you guys. Hit the like button, hit the share button, do all those great things for me. Right now, man, we are on the race to 30K before the end of the year. Like right now, man, I, I think we're gonna do it. I really do. You know, we've uh, we've hit it before in a shorter time. So let's go ahead, hit that subscribe button for me again, man. It only takes a few seconds. And of course, you guys follow me on Instagram at the real he got kicks. Follow me on the head page, Perfect Brims, and of course TikTok he got kicks ninety five. Today's video is about the release of these things. Again, we have this one. Uh, and only I think one more video on these and then we are finally done with this sneaker thank God and after the release today I cannot be done with this fast enough are we ready to call this release today either the worst or the most botched sneaker release of all time this was absolutely horrible did a live cop today and when I was live of course, you know, we had some W's and everything that was rumored, and I'm gonna throw it up right here. 329,000 pairs. And of course, you know, it was like 43,000 pairs of size 10 and a half, and you know, 33,000 pairs of size 10. Like there was a ton of sizes. I get that. And you know, so that means on the sneakers app alone, they dropped three over 350,000 pairs of lost and found jordan ones this is i'm not the i told you so type of person i thought i would have been wrong my prediction was actually kind of right i thought you know on release day you know they would be hovering around that 350 range and my size was the 360 to 355 so it was hovering around there and then i was right again about them going back up because there was a lot of people on the video whenever I was talking about it were saying, you know, these would hover around retail or hover right above retail or whatever. I do expect these to go down just a little bit more when people get their pairs in and they start moving them. And everybody said this would be such an easy cop that, you know, there's 500k pairs that it's going to be super, super easy and, you know, everybody's going to have a pair. We learned quite different today. Today was just it just abysmal for me like it was just horrible today was bad you know i took l's on every single raffle i filled out about 10 raffles took l's on two nike sneakers accounts and it took me an hour and a half till i could finally get the your submission was not selected so what i'm gonna do here uh, normally I haven't done this in a long time I want everybody in the comment section I want you guys to air out your frustrations what what upsets you all today about this release I want to know because I'm sure a lot of us have many many different um, ideas about how today went I know that there was some stores that did first come first serve aka athletes foot aka uh, one of my buddies Jay sent I, f I forget what he was he's an indie he sent a store they did first come first serve and then of course the raffles you know you have flex uh, finish line there a lot of people's uh, pre-order status exclusive whatever that got canceled I just everything about this release I feel like especially Nike wise I feel like this release did not go as planned like top wise not like you know oh this store messed up here this store. I feel like from the top like this was like oh wow this is actually messed up so it was just wild like there was so many people taking L's and it did go up a little bit like I think my size right now if I looked at StockX and everything um, my size right now I think it's hovering at like 415 so it went up about like 60 bucks um, let's see size 10 yeah 415 last sale was 400 and you know every sale since then has been 418 420 440 430 420 so it's been around that range i definitely think that this is probably the worst release that i personally have ever been a part of this has this was absolutely horrible and i i'm kind of shocked by it honestly because it, everybody knew it was going to happen you know nike knew it was going to be sneakers app crashed people couldn't join the raffle logged people out deleted people's addresses like literally everything that could have went wrong with this release on the sneakers app went 
wrong, everything. Just literally whatever you can think of, it went wrong for some people. And it's just insane how that happened. And I honestly, I cannot believe that something like that happened because they knew ahead of time what this was gonna be, especially if you're dropping that many pairs and you knew what it was gonna be. So I want everybody to kind of air out their frustrations. I wanna hear your frustrations. I have some as well. I took L's, I wanted retail pairs and I still didn't hit on two accounts with 33,000 pairs. I still couldn't hit uh, and you know, it's like, wow, I really I really couldn't, like that's crazy. Now, after this release and everything, it is on to the Mom and Year 4s. You guys already know what that is. Uh, I, I cannot wait for that one. Super excited for it myself, uh, but I think they dropped the 11s that just kind of like, hey, you know, you guys are about to take L, so we're gonna give y'all a dub real quick. Um, it's just insane how this release happened. And when I went to the mall today just to see, just to see, I, and every store had a line. People were out, you know, waiting for the leftovers. People was picking up pairs. And it's just insane. Like, everybody thought they was gonna get a pair, and that is not the case. We learned that. So, again, you guys, I just wanna kinda talk about this release. Get some stuff off my chest and of course I want to give you guys the opportunity to use my platform and of course my video to kind of air out your frustrations as well because I know we all have them. So again you guys be sure to hit that subscribe button for me. Ring that bell. Uh, again this video is just kind of for us. I'm glad that this release is basically over with now and you know I'm going to hit y'all with uh, my you know do not sell whatever prediction and stuff tomorrow but today let's go ahead let's air out these frustrations and let's be better tomorrow again i love you guys thank you guys for everything and i'll see you guys in the next video